What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, we're all set. Suicide puppets in the building! Yeah, hell yeah! Yeah! You handsome gentlemen, please do me a favor. Properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug and promote anything and everything. I am Veritas Suicide, drummer for the band Suicide Puppets. We're located in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I'm Johnny Suicide, bass guitarist, backup vocalist for Suicide Puppets. And like he said, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Harrisburg. Where can everybody follow you guys at if they want to go uh, hit the, you know, Instagram and all that stuff? Oh, where can't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the best way to reach us is go to suicidepuppets.com. And that's your gateway to everything, to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever the hell they call it these days. Uh, it'll give you access to our... Uh, iTunes and Spotify and Deezer and Tidal and all that stuff. And you, you guys have been a band since, what, 2007, correct? Yes. Is it still yes, the original sir. lineup, or has there been some, some changes over the years? Actually, uh, <laughs> it is technically the original lineup, the original four. Um, but then there's been, like, a rotation of guitarists over the years. Um uh, for a short period of time, we had a different drummer because Veritas um, moved across the country. <laughs> I did. I moved to Colorado for a little bit. What brought you back? Um, long story short, my, my two boys to a previous marriage. Okay, I got you. I understand. Uh, how long does it take to do the paint? Like, let's say it's, it's gig night or uh, another interview or, or today how long does it take you guys to do all that five hours no nah, no way <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it yeah. takes me about five minutes honestly you've done it so many times yeah cool. pretty much now my, mine's a little longer mine usually takes about a good 15 minutes because i have like bass and all kinds of bass you know, like I have like skin prep and I do all kinds of stuff and barrier sprays and stuff like that. When you're playing yeah. and, and you sweat, does it ever get in your eyes and like irritate you? No, no. no. It all depends on the brand of makeup that you use. And we like to use Mayron. Mayron doesn't run or smear any of that stuff. Okay, cool. And then Johnny, you've yep. got a, a bunch of Godzilla stuff going on in the background. It's safe to say you've oh. seen minus one and uh, oh. okay. Is Godzilla like, that's your go-to collectible? Uh, pretty much Godzilla, um, uh, Mego action figures, uh, I'm big into the creature from the Black Lagoon, but I have a, a lot of Godzilla, a lot. I'm a, you got a lot of toys, period. <laughs> oh yeah. And they're yeah. all, and it looks like most of them are still like in the packages too, and like in pretty good condition. Oh yeah. 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 I have a lot out on display, but there's certain pieces that when I get them, it's like, I know right away that's staying in the package. Yeah, it, it, and it, it's not really for like, well, that's gonna be worth money someday. It's just because I respect it that way. It's like, oh, that's mm. that's cool. I can dig it. Let's talk about the band. Let's. Uh, what do you guys have coming up for 2024 that we can look forward to? I know a lot of times bands can't tell me exactly because it's all like timing and secretive. But what what can we yeah. look forward to uh, for 2024 for you guys? Stuffs and things. Um, the most important thing we got going right now is we're going back up in the studio sometime at the beginning of this year to record the next album. Uh, that we can tell you. There are a lot of changes that are going on with the band right now as far as certain things go. Uh, <laughs> I almost gave a little bit too much away. Um, there are uh, there's some tours and some shows that are coming up soon. One show that we can talk about, February 17th, we're going to be at Love Drafts and Mechanics for Pennsylvania hanging out with our good friend Max Cavalier with his son's band, Go Ahead and Die. Um, we're playing with them February 17th, so that's going to be kind of fun. That is yeah. awesome. Was, are we allowed to talk about the tour that was canceled that you guys told me about? Uh, uh, Japan? Yeah, we, can we discuss that? Yeah, yeah. I, so, 
<laughs> so we've been sitting on this for like what, almost a year, John? Yeah, yeah. Have you guys ever been to Japan before? Before you found out it was canceled? No. So this is probably like you were no. really looking forward to that, I imagine. Oh yeah, we were yeah. we were pretty stoked for that one. I know Johnny was too, because like we when we, as soon as we found out we got the tour. Uh, I immediately started looking at the hotels in the area that we could stay at, and I found one that was like Godzilla themed. I was like, Johnny, check Gracer. it out. <laughs> yeah, the Gracery in Tokyo, they actually have a life size Godzilla head on the roof of the building. So it looks what? like he's peering out over the building. The whole, every floor is a Godzilla theme. It's like, yeah, I was so excited. Dang, that is so cool. What, what, what actually went wrong to where it got canceled? So the band we were supposed to go over with. Um, they're going through a tempest right now. They they switched lead singers, and uh, they they had to re-record uh, like a whole album with new vocalist on it. And I guess the, the way the timing was was situated, it just wasn't going to work out. So they're trying to reschedule it. But unfortunately for us, like that's where wait, once the rest of the year starts going on, we're going to be booked up. Yeah, no worries. Did you gentlemen bring hot sauce today for the trivia portion? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> you can go grab it. It's cool. If Death Ray Godzilla like sauce. How hot is that compared to the Cholua? Um, it's a little milder, but it's more of like a. This is more of a habanero. Okay. Which I prefer a habanero. I'm gonna grab this uh, this I, I, IPA oh, IPA uh, flavored infused hot sauce. I'll go with this guy right here. But the cool thing about the All trivia right. part, what you got? Oh, you got a bunch, dude. Okay, well, oh, if, he's got <laughs> if you if you want, because we usually do like two trivia questions, but if you if you want to bust out two of them, I'll go. Whether or not you get the trivia right or wrong, I'm gonna do hot sauce just to stay in the spirit. So I'll go I'll go a little bit hotter on the second one. I'll go a uh, ghostly ghostly garlic ghostly garlic for my second one. The cool thing about the trivia though, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got chipotle pepper, garlic del fuego, jalapeno, fiery diablo, extremely red, and mango habanero. Let's go fiery Ooh, and the the ghost one. All right, I got you. Anything with a ghost in it sounds it sounds hot to me. But uh, the cool thing about the trivia <laughs> is you guys get to pick the trivia topic. Is there a movie or TV show that you guys could agree on? Where if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, there's no way I stump you because you've seen it so many times. Now watch, I'll pick something thinking I know everything about it and then I'm going to suck at this. It happens I all know. the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. What do you think, John? Uh, Bando? Umbrella Academy? In my mm. opinion, it's easier to pick a movie versus a TV show, but it's totally your yeah, call. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, man. Let's go movie then. Let's go movie. Yeah. yeah. Hobo with a shotgun. What is it called? Hobo with a shotgun. Hobo oh, oh. Shotgun. I thought you said Bobo at first. Hobo with a shotgun. Uh, it does not come up on the, fairness, on the... The only time I've ever watched this movie was with Johnny when we were out on tour with Soulfly. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take me a second to look up some trivia on that because it did not pop up on, on the website I usually use. So give me just a second, but uh, when you guys are performing, I mean, is there is there a particular song that's always in the set that is just for some reason a little more intricate than others, and it's it's just the hardest one to play that you could agree? Wow, I don't even know if we have a hard one to play, honestly. Yeah, because it, for it, me, anyway. hard for me it might not be hard for Veritas or vice versa or one of the other guys. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of something that's intricate. Um, well, there, there's one that, but we, yeah, we don't do that anymore. Um, geez. Yeah. I can't really think of anything off. Porn star. Maybe. Maybe. Um, <laughs> it's for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can't think of anything off hand. It's so you, you guys are just pros, man. None of none of them are. You know, you played them so many times, you, you, you've mastered that, I guess. Yeah, it, yeah, it kind of rolls that way 100%. because I, I don't worry about anything when I'm playing a set. It just 
now. That's cool. That's what you want. You just want it to like naturally flow out and you're just not even thinking about flow playing. Out, you're, you're, you know, interacting with the crowd and getting them hyped up and stuff. But it was just God. tough looking up trivia for this. So I think we should switch the second, the second question to a different movie if that's okay. But the okay, one trivia fine. question I could find is... Hobo with a Shotgun is based on a fake trailer from what other movie? The whole premise of Hobo with a Shotgun is based on a fake trailer that's in another movie. What movie is that? I tell you what, I, I, I honestly don't know what the answer to this is. Man, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, what was it? It's got to be uh, another big film, right? It was a big one. It was a big film. It was a big yeah. film. Ooh. <laughs> I, oh, I don't know. All right. En enjoy the hot sauce. Enjoy the hot sauce. <laughs> the only movie I know of that has a fake trailer is Grindhouse, and that was the answer. Grindhouse is the correct answer. Woo. Ooh. Now that we're... I don't remember which that one was. Woo. So Grindhouse was... It was like a three-hour movie, but it was two movies in one. Yeah, yeah. Eli Roth did one, and Robert Rodriguez did the other one. Planet, yeah. Planet Terror, and then the one with the car, where uh, I think it was Kurt Russell or somebody's like on the car the whole the whole movie. In between the two films, there's like four or five fake trailers, and they've made uh, all four of them into real movies. Thanksgiving came out. Um, Machete was one of the fake trailers. Oh, I'm Jenny. burning. I'm burning. Uh, do you guys have any any uh, phobias or anything that scares you, freaks you out? Spiders. Spiders, yeah. I don't like spiders either. Mm -mm. Hmm. What you thinking, John? I'm just trying to... I don't know. I don't really... I can't really think of a phobia offhand... Except for the only thing that kind of freaks me out is when I order something online and I'm waiting for a toy and I get no feedback. Yeah, I, I, phobia? And it no. says and it says delivered, but you can't find it. That's when it, that's when the the phobia kicks in. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm afraid I'm not gonna get that damn toy. For real? Is there is there is there an ultimate Godzilla toy that is just like it's just crazy expensive because there's only four of them, but you gotta you gotta have it someday. There, there's, there's actually more and more you can find them, but they're so freaking expensive. Especially is would be the 1978 Shogun Warriors Godzilla 18 inch figure with his fist flies off. Uh, he has flaming tongue. Um, I, I, it's I played with it when I was a kid. I didn't own it, but that is my holy grail toy. I have miniature versions of it, but to get the full size. You're looking at anywhere out of the box, starting at three ninety five to in the box fourteen to fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. And it came out in the seventies, so there's probably not a lot left in the box in good condition. At least I would imagine. Uh, does your does your vocalist have any unique warm up tricks that he does for his voice? Because he has a really distinct voice, and I'm wondering if he does any like tea or. Or anything like he practices it behind the stage before you step out. Budweiser. Budweiser. He pounds. He pounds a couple buds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that a yeah. boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <man. laughs> That's cool. Anything? What about like, what about after the set? The time, like... I'm sorry. That? I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. You're good. I said it's funny though, because like people ask us that question, like, "What kind of routine does he have?" And it's just like it's literally just Budweiser before, during, and after the set. That's all he drinks. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean. Aside, aside from Japan, is there is there anybody anywhere else that you guys have circled on on your globe that you that you just have to visit and play someday? UK. Definitely want to. UK, do. Ireland. Yeah. yeah Ireland. Ireland would be sweet. Uh, South America, love to go down to like Brazil, you know, some, you know, Rio de Janeiro, something like that. Cause, um, it, it, metal bands go over so well down there. I mean, well, hell look, the Ramones went down there. 
and they were treated like the freaking Beatles. They had to sneak them out of hotel rooms and stuff in like tinted glass bands, and the bands still chased them down. Yeah, you know? and that was yeah. the remote metal yeah. bands. Madness. Hell yeah. Did, do is there a second a second movie that we can look up trivia on? Because I like to give you one more shot at a redemption okay. question, but a different movie this time. For Veritas, let's go with. Um, I want to go with Creep Show. I remember that in the blockbuster right. days. I was walking up down the, down the aisle, and the cover just got my attention, and I had to grab it. Hell yeah! Okay, so I'll look up some trivia on on uh, Creep Show regarding the new album that you're going to be going in to record. Are you going in? Who's the Who's the producer that you guys have chosen? And is it is it somebody that you've worked with before, or is this a particular new person that you found? Now we're going back with uh, the guy that, that produced the last one, Josh Bulls, uh, formerly of Motionless and White. That's that's a great choice. It's a great choice right there. Hell yeah, that should be fire. Can we... yeah, dude that that whole team that whole team up at that studio, Kyle, Eric, Josh, everybody up there was just fantastic to work with, and and they gave us a, you know uh, great um, you know, sort of like for direction on like certain things and whatnot. And and Josh is the one that introduced introduced us to Frank Dormani, who did all the orchestration parts in our last EP. So it was just it, for us, it just felt like a match made in heaven, like that whole group. That's perfect. That's the best feeling too. When you find like the right guy who, who gets, he gets your vision and like is able to take your ideas and just do it perfectly in the studio. That's cool. Um, but I'm going to stump you again. Here we go. In creep show. What is the name of the actor who plays Hank in father's day, which is one of the segments in creep show. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Day, I'll give you a hint. This actor, almost everything he's in, he is bald. But in this movie, because it's a fair a older film, he actually has hair back then. He's always bald. Always bald. I know who it. Man, I can't think of his name. Oh. I'm sucking today, man. Yeah, it's hot. It's, yeah, definitely hot sauce time for me. I, it's hot sauce. I, <laughs> Ed Harris. Ed Harris, I believe, is also in Apollo 13, I think. <laughs> Enjoy the hot sauce. I'm going ghostly garlic this time. Yo, Woo! Thank you guys for being... Uh, Good spirits on that and, and doing the hot sauce with me, hell yeah. Is there, can we expect any features on the album? I know you won't tell us who, but is there is there a chance maybe there's a guest or two on, on the album? I mean, it's possible we haven't discussed it, not to say that it can't happen, mm -hmm. uh, because like we've used John Bechtel and AC Slade in songs before. Um, those are the only two uh, co collabs we've done, but um, I don't know, maybe. Cool. Could happen. Could happen. Hell yeah. <laughs> is there is there anything that we did not discuss today that you guys think we should chat about? Yes. Um, the song Prey off of our current EP is actually going to be in the upcoming horror film The Boy From Below. Wow. How did you set that up? Because we're awesome. No. Uh, so Frank Dormani, <laughs> the guy who did the orchestration stuff for, uh, for our EP... He's doing a lot of the movie score for it. For it, so he's like, "Hey, he kind of was the hookup for that." Yeah, that is yep. wicked cool. Hell yeah, very, very yeah, cool. It's got a great cast with it too. I mean, how about on. it? You got the mom from ET, D. Wallace. She's in it. Richie Ramone. I mean, yeah, it, it just keeps. Who else is in that man? A lot of the actors. Pretty big cast. Yeah, There's a couple from uh, a couple of actors that were in Terrifier and stuff like that. It's. It's pretty yeah. cool, man. Um, and <laughs> my wife's got a role in it, which is kind of cool. I'm excited. Nothing for nothing. I kind of hope she gets stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. That's awesome. That is super cool, man. I, that, that, is, that is awesome. The connections to get into the film. That is wicked cool. Well, fellas, this was fun, man. Uh, I, once again, yeah. if there's anything you want to plug or promote before we let you go, and I very much appreciate your time. We look forward to to, to the album. We've been jamming your stuff every single day, and I was very much looking forward to this particular interview because you guys are badass, man. Thank you so much. Oh. Appreciate that, BG. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you.
Yeah, just, uh, you know, look out for The Boy From Below. That's supposed to be out, I think, later this year. Um, look out for our new EP. We're actually doing pre-sales of vinyl for the EP that just came out. Uh, you can check that out on our Facebook page. The link for it's up there. Or you can just go to puppetmerch.com, and you can pre-order the vinyl from there. And you can order all kinds of stuff off of puppetmerch.com. T-shirts, hoodies, hats, whatever. <laughs> Actual puppets? Do you guys sell puppets at the show? Actually, we do. We sell voodoo dolls. Oh, hell yeah. Do you have one nearby Just I yeah, my, that I can see? Is there, is, there one, is there one close by? Like that you could grab uh, like in the room? Hold on a second. Hey, babe, where's the voodoo dolls at? Johnny's got one. Oh, man. That's no, a, no. So you have oh, one of every of everyone in the band? Yeah, where are the voodoo dolls at? John, you oh, got, do you have one of everyone in the band? No, this is like a one-off I did of myself. That's so accurate. <laughs> that is super uh, cool. Unfortunately, the Voodoo Dolls are in the merch pit. Figure from Hellboy and just converted it. I mean, it looks it looks amazing. Hell yeah. Well, gentlemen, this is fun. If it's okay with you, I'm going to throw this on YouTube tomorrow, tag you in a bunch of stuff. And um, I just appreciate your time, man. I look forward to to the the new recordings with Josh and the team. That's awesome. And I, I'm praying that that the Japan trip and the UK and Ireland trip do work out for you guys because that'd just be wicked cool, man. But I get oh, Wait, there we go. Oh, that is that is dope too. Hell yeah! So your wife <laughs> makes those? Yeah. Yep. And puppetmerch.com if we wanted to buy one. You got it. Yes, puppetmerch.com. Hell yeah! Well, shout out to her because that that came out that came out great. And if I was at the show, I'd probably grab one of those for sure and just throw it. Hey, there she goes! <laughs> well done! It looks it looks great. It looks great. Hell yeah! <laughs> well, gentlemen, this is fun, man. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay safe and uh, congrats, man, on on uh, on the album. And like I said, I hope that things work out where the the band that you were going to Japan with figure something out. I know you said. You know, it's not going to work out because of, of booking reasons, but maybe something will give and you guys can get over there, I hope. Oh, Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Maritas and Johnny of Suicide Puppets! Give me a hell yeah! Thanks, fellas. Cheers, I appreciate it. Thank you, G.